happens. But I think it's going to give us like this little random delay when you do Zoom. It's setting up. I'm um, posting that I'm coming on your live. Okay. I think, I think we're live. Let me see. It says we're live. I think we're live. Really? Okay. Let me. I think we're live. I think we are too. Hold on. I'm bending down to make sure my boob is in <laughs> I, I, I do that too. <laughs> Come here, Dane. All right. Well, I think we are live. Lord. And of course, true to live fashion, my son is crying. So hold on. Well, I'm Christine Ruiz of ChristineDepot.com. Hold on to your name. You, I mean, wait, you mean you're a real mom and you work from home and make money from home around your beautiful child? Come on. <laughs> right. So. Okay. Really does that. With that being said, hold on. <laughs> All right. There you go, Dan. Oh, you know what? I think I have it where it's like not showing us both. How do I... I don't know. Let me look at you all. See what we see. We're learning. And once you figure it out, you can show me how to do it. Uh, let's see. Let me see. The HR. Oh, gallery, view. gallery view. Okay. I think I fixed it. Let's see. I'm looking at my phone. I'm, I'm checking. I'm checking. And it's a little bit of a delay. But hi, everyone. As you're coming on, oh, I'm going to check this. It looks like it's flipping back and forth between us as opposed to both of us. I don't know how you like it. Well, no, now mine's showing gallery view. Okay, maybe, maybe okay. It's delayed on my phone. Okay. All right, well, thank you all for joining us. Um, as I am sitting here breastfeeding to keep being quiet, as you can see, I have <laughs> my mentor who I just, I adore her. I adore you, Diane. I think you know that because I sort of nicely stalked you um, for a long you time. You stalked me like nobody's business. You were the big <laughs> stalker maybe that I've ever had in the most inquisitive, full of crowd. Like I always say to people, hey, call me if you need me. And there was Christine. Like, <laughs> she was like constant. It's like, don't say those things unless you want me to hold you to it. But you're the only one that listened, which is incredible. <laughs> Your journey has been so remarkable to watch and congratulations to everything that's been going on for you. So thank you. Okay. I'm sharing this with the NFU groups myself. Um, sure. and so we are going to get started. So Everyone who watches me, if you like I said, if you don't know me, I'm Christine Ruiz of ChristineDeco.com. I have the lovely Diane Hoffman, Diane Hoffman. With my, my holiday paraphernalia. Yes. You and have Christmas stockings, so I feel like I need to keep up with the Joneses. So. Right, you know, setting the, setting the uh, atmosphere. So yeah. um, I'm a big fan of Hamilton. My daughter is Diane, is a huge fan of Hamilton. Um, so Hamilton is in Hartford this week, Christine, and I haven't gone because we have this big project going on and uh, there's still single tickets. I bet you I could slide in. Maybe, I don't know. I got to look and see because, because it's not as good as New York though. I'm just saying. And my daughter's like, it's not the original cast, but anyhow. It doesn't matter. Right. It was yeah. great. I saw it, I saw it um, with the first round of replacements and it was incredible. So. Oh, I'm sure. But keeping in that vein, I just felt like it was so appropriate to title this the story of tonight. Um, mm -hmm. And this is for, I put, you know, every network marketer definitely might need to hear, hear this, but whether you're a network marketer or not, a merchant, whatever that thing that you do is, if you are utilizing the internet, if you're utilizing social media, um, Diane is doing her thing before social media ever existed. And tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern time, she is going to be doing a webinar. She's going to, she always drops gems. Even if, I don't even think she realizes half the stuff, like she'll say something I'm like, man, that was so profound, like mind blown over here. So talking about the story of tonight, because tonight is going to be monumental, but I really wanted to get you on here, Diane, so we could just, just talk. I wanted you to just share some things. You are coming on 20 years working this is this is my 20th year like and then i'll hit the anniversary in october but this is my 20th year of being home and working in this industry two daughters getting them through school you know getting out of debt all the things you've done and i think that there's so many people in this industry there's so many people who do network marketing do internet marketing online marketing but i think my biggest draw to you is just there's a lot of things, but your authenticity, like you have always just been real. You were the one that had me comfortable to go on live and whether I'm looking cute or whether I'm having one of my days, just to be comfortable to know that it's about the content and it's not about me. Yeah. 
right? So that, and then the fact that you raised your two daughters and you were, you, you said, I want to be at home and you did it. A lot of people say stuff, you have done it and you're still doing it. 20 years, people fall in and fall out. You've been consistent. Can I be truthful? I yeah. had to do it. Like, like it wasn't like, gee, I'd love to. Most people are like, well, wouldn't that be great? I, I couldn't be any other way between kids and my inability to fit in a box. <laughs> so when I did have a job and I had a great job and I'm so thankful for that job, even though it was a, one of the coolest jobs on earth, I was not happy. Um, there's something with me about being put into a schedule or put into a, a thing that I have to do because somebody else told me I was always that kid, you know? <laughs> so, um, so I really didn't have a choice. And I remember thinking to myself, I'd rather be broke and be free than have money and have to go every day. And um, so I guess I was fortunate that it was so imperative to me um, where most other people, I think it's just not a, it's not a have to. Mm. So. And that, and I think that is a good point. Cause I mean, you, cause I've, I've just shared so much with you over this year, especially, um, you know, a lot of even my personal things. And I think one of the biggest thing is even if I fail or I make a mistake, I'm like, I have to get this right. I have to do this. And I am. And you did a live the other day. You were talking about uh, the tenses of verbs and what we mm -hmm. say. And mm -hmm. like I said, there's so many things, your discussion on kings and queens, so many things that you have hit on that have just literally, not just oh, this profound, but it has changed me and how not only I do my business, but just who I am. Like, I felt like I was almost annoying when I met you. And oh, I you were totally that's... annoying. I mean, I, I, I got to tell you, you were totally annoying because I'd be like, hey, Christine, she was in one of my classes. I'd be like, Christine, can you ask that in the group? She'd go, yeah, okay, no problem. She'd go ask in the group. Then she'd come back again like two hours later, ask me something else. I'm like, Christine, can you ask that one in the group too? But here, here's, I think, was a big turning point um, for you. Remember the day you were telling me that you couldn't do something because you just didn't have the money or something. And I was like, well, you know how to make money, Christine. Are you going to give up your dream because you, you know, are, are, are you going to play that story or are you going to go do what you got to do to make it happen now? And you turned around and you did, you know, I don't like to call myself an entrepreneur. I'm really a merchant because I'm selling other people's things. I don't create anything, but you turned around and you did the hustle just like any merchant would. So if the, if the, if the pork chops aren't selling, go get some hamburgers, you know, if the, if the, whatever you say, you know, whatever it is, if something's not selling right now, or you haven't figured out how to sell it, go do something else, do something, think like a merchant and you turned a corner. I, that day you turned a corner and your growth since then, I mean, I've watched you rank up. I'm watching get the leads. I'm watching you sign people. I watch, I just saw your picture in your company journal or whatever. Um, you know, yeah, it was cute. So you, you, you've turned the corner and it really wasn't a corner of anything other than a thought process. Well, how do I connect with people in a different way? How do I make some money this week? How, how do I get cash flow to stay alive? Right. My line is always the name of the game is stay alive. You have to stay alive long enough to break through. Most people want to break through in a day. You have to stay alive long enough to break through, especially when you're home. Because if you, in my case, it was either go back to work or figure it out. Um, so I had to stay alive. So even if I wasn't making as much as I was making at my job, if it was enough to pay the bills, right. I could stay until I figured it out. And then I figured it out and then the rest was history. Right. No, and that's definitely because I remember I was, Crying and everything. I was like, boo hoo -wee. And, and you, I were, you were very dramatic, and I was mean. And I'm sorry I was mean, but I love you. So I was mean, like a mom would be. But Suck it, it up. <laughs> yeah, but it was good because I literally was like, what can I do? And I think I got on Upwork. I was like doing resume. I was doing everything. I just realized I don't have my ring on. It's upstairs. I was doing everything um, that I could think of that was legal and didn't involve me sliding down a pole. No offense to those who do, but everything that I could think of. Sliding down a pole. <laughs> try to um, get that income in. So that's definitely true. So I guess um, what, and I, obviously we're going to do your thing tonight, so I want to give all the way, all the goods, but yeah, no. what is Thank something, you. and we were talking earlier about History Has Its Eyes on You, because that's one of my favorite songs, but mm -hmm. I think a lot of times we have, we play ourselves short. Um, and when you think about people who've been monumental through history, they were just people too, but they did the work and they made the decision to do a thing. 
um, or to do several things and to stick with it. And I think what is like, if you could give a piece of advice for people who are in merchants or marketers or in this industry, what is something that maybe you see people doing that they shouldn't do or people not doing that they should do? Is that a weird question? No, it's not, I get asked it all the time and I'd like to reframe it if okay. it doesn't, if it's not offensive to you. Because I, I think a lot of us are afraid of doing the thing that we shouldn't do. So when, when that question is asked and then people hear that, they start to get paralyzed because the truth is that any forward motion is good motion, okay? It's like, like the old saying in, in media, any press is good press, even if it's bad press. If you make a mistake, but you learn from it, it's good. And believe me, I've made my fair share of mistakes, um, lots of them, lots of them, lots of them. I'm living to, you know, to, to correct them. Um, I think, let's go back to Hamilton for a minute. And I know Christine brings up Hamilton. If you watch her lives regularly, she tends to talk about it. We are obsessive. We're weird kids. Um, in fact, my daughter actually runs a Broadway podcast. I have to send you the link, Christine. You'd read, yes. She's meeting with all the, um, her, her friend Alan is the interviewer. She's the producer. And they're meeting with all these great Broadway people and doing more of a behind the scenes twist, things that go on in the background. Um, she loves that stuff. So we're going to do it together. Yeah, I'll send it over to you. But um, first of all, I encourage you all to go listen to that soundtrack. And the reason why is because I promise you, I mean, everybody who thinks, eh, it's rap, it's this, it's that, I'm not going to like it, they, they end up crying, okay? Because the story is about a group of people that decided they could change the world. And they didn't decide they could change the world for their own benefit. They decided to change the world because the world needed to be changed. Now, the world can be as small as your family of four or five, however many people in your family are you, if you're single, whatever. And the world can be as big as the industry. The world can be as big as your neighborhood. You can decide what your world is. When you shift from, I wanna make some money and benefit myself to, I wanna make a difference. And everybody always says that I wanna help people, but then they're afraid to invite someone to see a presentation. I always find that fascinating. <laughs> help you. I just want to help people, but I won't show them what I do so they can break free. Right. Um, how much do you really want to help them? So it's about moving to a higher plane and a higher thought process and then doing what has to get done in order to make that thing happen. And that's tonight we're going to talk about execution because that's what's lacking for people. It's not that there's not training available. God knows there's, there's tons of training. It's not that there's not great products and services available. Christine has a whole bunch of them. You can check with her about what she's marketing. It's not that there's not great environments available. It's, it's not any of those things. It's about somebody getting inspired enough to make the decision to execute and not being afraid to execute. And it's really hard because we've been trained. Do you guys know that public schools were created by factory owners to train us to to stay in line. Look, look at the history. Public schools didn't exist until right before the turn of the century when the industrial revolution happened. Mm. What they needed to do is create a place to train compliant factory workers. Look it up, guys. Look it up. It makes sense though. So, so the whole thing that we learned in school, and I'm not knocking education. I'm all for education. I have a degree, you know, um, my kids are, in, you know, went to school or are in school and so on. Um, but a big part of public education was to create compliant employees that don't ask a lot of questions and often don't think for themselves because that was beneficial in a factory type of an, in an industrial environment. But it's 2019, right? A couple of days, 2019, almost 2020. And we're not in that environment anymore. And now we've moved back to a place where we need to learn to think. And the only way we learn to think is by doing and executing because executing shows us and, and, and it gives us, you know, the ability to decipher what is the answer. Right. We have to really change the way we operate. And that's why so many people struggle in this industry because they're employee minded because they were brought up that way. Their parents were brought up that way. Their grandparents were brought up that way. And two, um, they're totally afraid of making a mistake. Right. We're going to focus on an execution plan for 2019 and talk about execution and talk about 
things like staying alive and cash flow and the ways that I made it through all these years. The first years were tough. Um, I'm not going to kid anyone. I wasn't riding around on yachts, you know, the first couple of years. Now, did I ride around in a yacht in 2018? I sure did. Did I stay in a five-star hotel in 2018? I sure did. Did I, you know, fly first class in 2018? I sure did. But the beginning was learning, executing and learning, executing and learning, executing and learning. And that's how we get through. Then you all of a sudden you see the big picture through the execution. And then you get to have all this stuff. The stuff they promised us isn't fake. It's just that most people are making believe they have it. Now, you can get it, but most people are making believe and putting up a facade. And I'm starting a revolution because I'm tired of the facade. I'm tired of the baloney. Look, if somebody gets to stay home with their kids, isn't that good enough? If somebody gets to take their family on vacation this year because of their extra income, isn't that good enough? If somebody gets to drive a nicer car, isn't that good enough? And the man that, you know, that I originally learned network marketing from, it was funny because he always talked about focusing on the little stories, but of course he would be the ridiculous story. He, he had a yacht with a helicopter hanging off the back. <laughs> it's the both sides. So let your upline or your, you know, whoever it is that's walked before you that has that now, let them be that and you be the reality of what's possible. And let's stop being, in, the, the internet made us all embarrassed to show that we made, like, um, who was it that, um, uh, Kara, she had a $420 day yesterday and she shared it. And that was tremendous. $420 in a day is ridiculous. But a lot of people turn up their nose at that because they're into this ridiculous, you know. When, when I made that $500 sale that day. Yeah, I remember. Someone I had never spoken to and it was completely automated. I didn't have to convince or beg or spend time and show like, remember I should have, cause I was like this, it was, you, you do stuff and you do stuff and you're like, and I obviously mindset is big and you're like, you, you know, it's going to happen, but it's something about when you have it happen that first time, really? it just, like I cried. I think I messaged you, Good. I screenshot it. Then I sent you a voice message. And, I yeah, you like, <laughs> and I'm like, but this is what it should be. But you have to execute to get to that place. Right. And same thing with your programs. You know, um, depends on the program that you're in and how you present. I know you're watching him do his his thing, running around. That's why I'm making these faces because I'm looking at my son, yes. <laughs> lead, lead generation shouldn't be hard. Um, presentation shouldn't be hard. Um, you know, and then the people sort themselves and they, they basically close themselves. You give them the presentation. If the timing's right, great. If not, they go, you throw them back into the system. It's like a fish. It's too little. You throw it back in. Um, it shouldn't be hard. What it should be is consistent daily execution that gives you that momentum and that energy that makes it easy. It also gives you the posture. I mean, nobody can tell you now. Nobody can tell you it doesn't work because 500 buck day, nobody can tell you it doesn't work. Right. And, and that's the difference. I did it. Nobody, nobody can tell me boo. I'm a rock. You can't tell me boo. What do you tell me? I love when people like try to tell me I'm doing something wrong or this, this, and that. I'm like, okay. Right now, I'm like, okay, I'm doing my way. Um, my, but my way is based on decades of, of fundamental marketing wisdom. Right. So the story of tonight, Christine, is going to be that I'm going to do an execution training. Um, and I'm pretty excited about it. And um, I think we're gonna have a lot of people on. I know it's the week before Christmas. And I know a lot of people are busy. Um, but I, I, I encourage you to, you know, make a cup of cocoa. It's a one time training. Um, make a cup of cocoa and come on down and, um, you know, just listen and think about what's possible for you. Um, think about, I, truthfully, tonight's a celebration of my making a million dollars in commissions at this particular company. Now, I did it. Well, congratulations. I uh, Thank you. I did it a while ago, but we weren't really talking about it. And so tonight we're celebrating that. Well, uh, and speaking because we're going to raise a class to freedom, you know. You raise a class because I'm actually hitting, um, uh, Mark, I actually, in the same program, you, you're hitting a million, and this is something that's not a primary business for me, but no. I um, ha am actually at nine, that I've been paid out, $999.99. There you go. So you can pop over that thousand. But I Right. I'm going to pop over the thousand because you know how it shows like what you have earned and then what's eligible for that mm -hmm. payment. Yeah. So I'm already yeah. over a thousand, but yeah. you're, you did a million and I did thousand but that's not my primary but, thing I don't but know. I've been doing this for many years you know like right. we can't 
com, you know, we can't compare. That's not fair. No, I was saying I, that's celebratory. I, I'm happy. Yeah. No. Yay. And what's neat about this particular thing that we're talking about is it's just a tool set. It's just an affiliate program. It's just, it's no big deal. It's not what we do, you know, completely. Um, although I, t- I am a teacher and I do focus a little bit more here because I love it. I, I mean, I've been attraction marketing for so long. Um, but the average person, that's what they're going to do here. They're, you know, they're going to make a couple hundred bucks a month extra uh, that covers all their marketing and tools and maybe their advertising. So if somebody gets up to a thousand dollars, um, now they're able to expand their business with some ads or to pay to get to company events or to pay for their auto responders or tools or whatever they're using for internet marketing. That's the purpose. Um, it's, it's to help people build whatever it is they're building. So it's cool. And I'm I know helping people. I know you have to go because it's a big day. You're <clears throat> busy got you. doing and creating. Yeah. So I definitely want to thank you for taking the time to spend it with me. Um, and like I said, I just wanted to really share with people the story of tonight because tonight is big and it doesn't matter what business you're in. That's what I, I love about it, that it's not about this is the best opportunity ground for opportunity, best company. You help everybody. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I don't care what company you're in. I don't care what program you're in. All I know is that if you're a freedom seeker, See, and that's that's why that's why we keep going back to Hamilton. It's, it's 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 I have this quest to help people be free and think differently. And what I sell is just the way I make my living, so that I can continue to do it. And um, it's it's an honor and a privilege to be able to help, especially mothers. Um, you know, anybody that wants to do whatever they were born to do, anybody that's a weirdo like me that needs to live outside of the box. You know who you are. Um, you know, freaks and fringe dwellers, or I call us the island fit toys this time of year. Um, you know, the elf that wants to be a dentist. He's so weird, you know, on Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Um, you know, it's like, what kind of elf? Elves are supposed to make toys, not be a dentist, but he wasn't happy. He was, he had his little hammer and he was trying to make toys with the other elves and he really just wanted to fix your teeth. And, and we're, a lot of us are like that. Some of us have something that requires us to be home. Maybe we have an elderly loved one that we need to take care of, a young child that we need to take care of. Some of us are artists. Some of us are musicians. Some of us, you know, are, I mean, I, I, I just saw Katie and, and Pops are full-time RVers, and so they need something flexible. Um, there's this whole movement now about, um, I, I, what do they call themselves? The people that wander around the world. Uh, I forget. They have a name for themselves. Um, <laughs> Nomads, whatever yeah digital nomads or whatever you know there's a whole movement there's actually whole businesses springing up around providing housing for people that want to travel around the world that have internet and workspaces um so i don't know what your reason is maybe you just want to take the kids to disney world that's cool maybe you want to just share some good products maybe you fa- i mean i got into the business retail you know i fell in love with the products and then i started sharing them because everybody asked for them so i never ever 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 expected to be here doing what i'm doing today um, it's sweet serendipity. I'm really blessed. And, um, so that's why I do. I just do the best I can to help other people come down the road for whatever they want to do. Well, I'm glad that you did make the decision and that you continue to do it. And that, like I said, you, um, dealt with my pestering, um, cause it came from a good place. So I know we're going to wrap it up. You guys, um, if you want to attend the webinar tonight, I have the link. It's in the description of this, um, or you can always send me a message if you don't see the link and say, Christine, where is I want to be there tonight? So definitely feel free to reach out. I'm going to be there tonight. I got a PTA meeting. I told them I'm saying my part and I'm leaving. I need to be back at home for this. So um, it, it's, sure. big. it's a big deal. So thank you. Guys, guys. Really, seriously, I don't know um, what's going on replay wise and stuff like that. I really don't because of the holiday. Right. So, um, I definitely would come live if you can wrap presents. I mean, Hey, why not set up the table, you know, put your laptop, your iPad, or even your phone, wrap some presents while you're, you know, while you're listening. Why not? I might even wrap presents while I'm teaching today. No, I can't. <laughs> I need to wrap all my presents, Christine. I'm so behind. <laughs> well, thank you. And I will see you guys. I, mean, I know there's like a whole bunch of Colin said my favorite two New Yorkers because you're originally from New York. New Yorkers. Hey, hey. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys tonight at the webinar at nine. Bye. You guys later. Bye, Chris. Bye.